what is happening guys so I built this drawer stack um, on casters it's got four drawers I need to do the drawer faces I have four handles for it and it has a shelf there that my desktop is mounted to so that way I can move the entire thing around so I'm gonna cut these drawer faces out on the one infinity CNC machine and I'm gonna engrave each one of them with special types of fonts and you guys will see that in a little bit so let's go over to the computer and let's design it um, but I'll show you what I got I think the most complicated part of this was actually finding these files so if you guys are 3d printing nerds like I am that's a Voron logo and that is the uh, why can't I think of the name right now that's really bad uh, the VZ bot logo. And then I got the One Affinity logo. I, got, I had to draw this because obviously, like, they have an SVG file you can download. They have an SVG file you can download. They have an SVG file you can download. They have no SVG file that I could find. And I spent probably like 20 minutes trying to find it. So I just drew it. Uh, really pretty simple. And then my own logo. And then. Originally, I was going to put the One Affinity right here, but with their font, it's so big that I would, the handle would be in it. And so my goal is for those handles to be right in the center, right where I want them, which I have them, I think, three inches down. And then, so the One Affinity, I figured, you know what, I'm going to put it at the bottom. That way, it's get the biggest uh, surface area, and I can do the whole entire thing. So, so I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do to engrave this and different toolpaths. I didn't really play around with the toolpaths too much. So I'm going to go um, through and we're going to see what would probably look best, what wouldn't, what would, and so on. And I need to double check to make sure this is centered. So if I go over to this tool, I can select this, which if I highlight all that and hit G, it groups it. So now it's grouped. But if I hold shift and I select that outer box, I can then come down to here. And it's aligned, okay. I just was looking a little weird. Um, but that will align it. So like if I do that, it moves it. Uh, I'm gonna pull on it right there though. So I'm gonna move it back down. And we're gonna hit close. And the same thing with this, you select G. Now if you wanna ungroup them, you just hit U. And U will ungroup everything. So this is what I actually, I think I did for these logos. I did a half inch, 90 degree V-bit, uh, depth pressure 0 0.04, which is a little deep. Let's go 0 0.02. I just wanted to like engrave. I don't really want to do a ton of depth on it. Step over, fill, 0.7, and then I did 22 degree. And so this is actually what this would look like. And it's not going to show you because I didn't put enough. Let's put up four. And so I think it'll look pretty cool. And then I'm not sure if I want to do this the same way. And actually, what I could do, I could just select everything. I should have done that beforehand. Fail. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. Okay. And then that gives me my locating holes for the handles. I think that'll look cool. I think we do a test. Or, I don't think we do a test. I think I just throw a board up there. And then we'll slowly drop the depth if need be. But so far, I think that looks really good. And we'll just run that. So let's get this file loaded up into the CNC. Now, the actual dimensions and stuff is way too big for our machine. And I have it on separate boards. I'm going to go ahead and get this set up to where we'll just do the one, which I'll do with this. What I'm going to do first is going to be the top. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm just going to double click. I'm going to move these 
off to the side. Bring this over here. And then deselect everything. Then reselect it all. Now you could do that, which then we'll do this. Which would probably look pretty cool, but yeah, we're not gonna do it that way. So we're gonna go and engrave this, and we'll be right back to the other camera. Bring it all the way forward, like that. Back over to this machine, our last interface, and hit the emergency stop. You can take this, and you can pull it tight up against the feet, and as long as you set your rails square, um, and you pull it tight, it squares the entire gantry up on the machine. Hit the emergency stop again, and then you can hit home. And now, this will ensure that all your rails are going to be square when it homes. Make sure there's like no dust on the actual bearings. I'll show you what I'm talking about. First thing. Sometimes some debris can build up in there and the machine can't actually fit tight up on these feet. So you want to make sure you clean those off before you pull it tight. Um, so then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this This will be my X and Y point. So I'll hit X and Y. And then now I'll come over here. I use my probe. And since most of my engraving in this general area. In this case, the board is out of whack at all. We'll do that. And now I'll hit Pro. Get a Pro. Now you can use the paper method, or not even that method at all. You can just kind of like sight it to make sure it's good. For the most time that's good enough. But on this I'm gonna probe it. And Alright, so I got the drawer face cut out. I got this one on. Time to put the next one on. And what I did is I just put double side face tape on it.
Ah, 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 Yeah, it was cool. I think once I get the, then the Pro and then the One Infinity on it, it'll be pretty cool. Um, cart almost done. So I'm using the Jenny bit compression, and I'm not gonna lie, this thing's a monster. I also highly don't recommend doing this, but hey, I'm gonna pay. <laughs> I'm gonna fill these on the actual CNC table. Yeah, don't do this. Now that I painted them all, I'm going to take my sander, hook it up, and uh... Okay, so I was going to shoot it with, um clear coat but then I just decided you know what who cares I just this stuff dries really quick it's butcher block Alright, so I'm gonna let them dry and then I'm gonna add them all to the cart 
and I'm actually pretty happy with it. Like, I'm a little disappointed that I, should, I knew better. I knew better. I should have let it dry. Should have let it dry before I spray painted it in black. And I let it dry for like maybe 30 minutes and then shot it. Yeah, it might have been 15 minutes. I don't really recall. I'm a little under the weather right now and really wish I would have just let it. Then it would have been a nice, clean looking wood. But it's like, it's not like the rest of the cabinet is even actually finished with anything. I just figured the drawer faces would pop. But I'm glad I did the black. I like the way the black looks. So we'll get this mounted up once this dries. And then we can start organizing it all and get it done. So this is what it finally looks like, like moving around. I have a one extension cord and the whole thing will move around with it. Let me see if I can back this up a little bit. This is a little bit more difficult than. But so as you can see, it does move around. It plugs in by one cord. And I have all this big giant power strip. Plugs everything in. Plus it also has a bunch of USB ports up here. So I can plug in like my phone and stuff. I haven't actually got around to completely organizing it, but I do like the fact that if I ever need to, I can just unlock the casters. Pull that open. Halfway organized right now. It's not finished. Throw it in there. So I got some more things I gotta make. Some cubbies and uh, little holders. But then that's my all my screws and all my bolts and everything from like 3D printers and machines and everything, or just screws in general. Well, not really so many screws in general, but screws for like that I use a lot. And then this is like my this is gonna be my um, gauges, clamps, and like uh, torque wrenches. Door. This will probably be like my metal for like aluminum and all that type of bits. And this will be all my woodworking router bits. So I am really happy with how it came out. I think it looks fairly cool for being thrown together. Literally scrap wood, threw everything together. And I really like the idea that I put the computer right there to where it's almost essentially in the same plane, so that way if I need to plug in something or like we all have these drives. We just I just plug them in. I can plug in uh, straight from my flash drive into there. Do all kinds of stuff. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So if you guys would like to see other content or other things like this or what your guys' thoughts are, um, even though I kind of messed that up, I should have let this the sealer dry better before I sprayed it. But even though it added dark grains to all the wood, it's still I still like the way it turned out. So, thank you for watching, guys. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. And let me know what you guys want to see in the comments down below. Consider subscribing. I'll be coming out with a new video, hopefully every other week to every week, on CNC machines. In this one's a nightmare right now. But, yeah. Not just CNC machines, 3D printers, plus some stuff around the house. I have some electrical stuff that I need to do around my house, like add some lights and do some other stuff. So I'll probably make a video on that as well. Anyways, take care guys. Peace out.